This episode of I Collect is brought to you by Limited Supply, the one-stop shop for sneakers and apparel in New Brunswick, New Jersey, located right across the street from Rutgers University. Stay tuned to the end of the episode to find out more about this Jersey gym. What's going on world? Brand new episode of Open the Box there on your screen. I'm with Jake, guy in Colorado Springs who has Oklahoma City ties, but this guy has a crazy collection, man. This guy's collection is insane. Jake, what's going on, what's man? What's going on, man? Now, you're a man of many collections. We will be here for like, what, two or three days yeah. if you had to show us all of them, but what do you have to show us first? I'm a big OKC guy. Kind of went crazy on Nike IDs. The KD6 is my favorite uh, model here. I have over 55 pairs of the KD6. I guess most popular one that I have is uh, this Grinch for the KD Chroma option that came out a couple yeah. years ago. This is one of the few shoes I actually clean because um, <laughs> I can't replace it. You know, right, I can't right, go out yeah. and get a new one. This one right here, Picasso wants me to hand this over so he can do his Joker thing on this. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen the gloves and everything. Yeah. He does what he does and he does it best. Kind of followed a few trends at the time. The overdone Yeezy 2 colorways and stuff like that. I, I have those all over but crazy stuff that i thought would draw attention you know i'm a, I'm a loud person verbally and yeah. physically with what i wear some of my favorite right here are the candies i was lucky enough to get them in my size size 12. something that you know a lot of people would uh, consider a special shoe this is the uh the wanda pratt six very limited i heard there's under 10 pairs it's nice knowing that you know a player takes time and, and makes his pe's and for people he loves right 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 and russell's your favorite player so yeah yeah russell <laughs> russell's a beast i've had the pleasure of seeing russell play many times in person and there's not many forces on the court that play like russell mm -hmm. you know he drives up no. the center and he just smashes the ball over the biggest <laughs> tallest guys and there ain't nothing anybody can do about it now i will say this jake made me an awesome cup of coffee so i'm gonna sip this while he shows you the rest of these super rare kds he has i'm gonna be over here sipping my coffee i'm gonna let jake do this thing i'll start with the the six this one is a pretty rare one here i'm not even sure what it's uh it's called it's got like a ostrich type leather on there and a actual physical like fabric type swoosh now this one right here is probably one of my most prized i don't buy sneakers i can't wear i just don't unless there's a certain story. There's not many of these. I only know of two other ones. I heard there's up to five. Anybody that knows me that this color <laughs> is it for me. Just the combination, and I have some Nike IDs I could show you. One of them being right there. I call them crazy colors, and that's like my own personal loud Nike ID lineup. But this is to me is the coolest detail. KD riding a bike on the back. I'm a box freak, so I definitely Got boxes. I have the KD6 Paris Limited Edition. Two of the uh, bamboo boxes, and I, I think there's like 50 of them. D'Angelo Russell EYBL6. Lucky enough to get that. And at the time, I didn't really know that he was going to be a, a pretty good player, you know? This right here is my favorite KD5. The Elite model, to me, was much better than the original 5. I like the original 5. I think it gets a lot of heat that it shouldn't. This is like the sister shoe to the one that's missing. The colors are slightly different. I have the Volts, and one once again, Volt, that highlighter, Volt, neon, whatever you want to call it. The interesting thing about this shoe is at a point in time, there was a couple of fakes going around and people were um, kind of uh, charging for it because it's such a rare shoe. The biggest way you can tell is the toe cap and it's, a, it's dark, it's completely a different color. This is the Wanda Pratt 4. It's got the triple sevens on the tongue and then it's got the Wanda Pratt logo on the back. But this one was very limited. Not very many threes or twos or really ones for that matter. I wasn't into sneakers at that time. I had a lot more KD4 Nike IDs, but I had somebody come into my home and take them from me. Mm. So these right here are actually uh, samples but as far as I know, no real difference. It is the same shoe other than the tag on the box. This is an interesting pair right here, the score chance. I'm sure you've seen the OKC themed ones. My favorite thing about the KD3 <clears throat> is this. It's a little cliche, but you know, KD went from having, you know, the basic standard sneaker. And I feel like this is the sneaker that changed the line into a different direction. You know, mm -hmm. I, I believe they had Nike ID on these. And then, you know, this sneaker went from, you know, $95 and whatnot 
to the next shoe being like 120 yeah. to 140 or whatever, yeah. and yeah. the prices keep rising. To me, uh, colorway wise, this shoe put KD's line on the map. It was a game against the Mavericks. The whole team had these on. These are the All-Star 2s. I really like these because I really think black and red, you know, pops and and I think, you know, every true like deep sneaker head has a tie to black and red because of Jordan, you know. Now, before we get into my favorite line that you have, a lot of people have went to the drop down boxes in their collections, right? Yeah. You have as well, but you also keep the boxes. To me, it's all part of the uh, the collection aspect okay. of it. The uh, 2013 All-Star 28 box with the lock on it. And speaking of boxes, actually, this is one of the boxes I am most proud of. I pulled the dead stock tab on those. I've never had the opportunity to even have a box like that. What's the most creative packaging you've seen from a shoe? The one that I do have, the most creative packaging, is probably the Kyrie cereal boxes. I'm not huge on the Kyrie form, but I saw those boxes and I, I think my eyes popped out of my head. I knew I had to have them. I have a custom made uh, Yeezy Red October box up here. You could stick the Red Octobers in there and it'd light up. The coolest box that I don't have is probably the Nike Mag, that big radioactive one. <laughs> this is the uh, the box that it came in, the Hill Valley sponsored by UPS. I was lucky enough to get them dead stock. That's not something that you find every day and because you know everybody wanted to get those things and put them right on their feet. I got some custom like the Jurassic Park customs from the the remade and I know the remade kind of caught some heat for some things and there are some opinions on customized shoes I have a strong one but this is a customized shoe as long as you're getting what you paid for then I think it'll it'll be all right about to get into some Kobe's here but I want people to know that uh, Jake is a true KD fan because I don't see these. I don't see, I see KD 2s, I see KD 3s, KD 4s, 5s, 6s, but I do not see 1s. My boy, please Snoop, uh -huh. he has a killer KD collection. Yeah. Like, really killer. He has like the Supersonics colorways. I got the, the blue chips. And these were for the McDonald's game right here. I have never worn these. I'm kind of afraid to because it's pretty firm and yeah. I'm afraid they're gonna they're gonna explode. I did happen to get this the uh, away Sonics colorway. TG has the home the all yellow pair and they're they're beautiful. Yeah. They are beautiful. A lot of people you can if you don't show them the logo and you ask them, they they probably won't know what a KD1 is. Okay, see colorway. Now, Kobe wise, I'm seeing some that I usually see, but again, I'm a Nike ID guy. You have tons of them. As you can tell, the Kobe is my favorite line. To me, it is the most versatile. You can wear it with pants, you can wear it with shorts. I don't have a lot of eights that are Nike ID. However, I do have the Christmas ID. I love that. This was back when the Red Octobers was, you know, it, everything. This is one of my favorite Nike IDs, period, that I've ever done you can kind of see the colors changing a little my sneakers are kept in the dark <laughs> so um they're still kind of changing a little bit of colors there these are also ids i actually got these from a buddy of mine named ben he is insane with the ids i really love the nine the kobe nine is my favorite model kobe it's probably one of my top five favorite sneaker models period i can't remember what these prints are called once again loud and <laughs> If it makes a statement, there is no such thing as bad PR, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This is uh, something else I had to do. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention and I left this flywire purple. One of my IDs that I did, and I did copy somebody off Instagram. This is around the time that the LeBron 9, the Statue of Liberty Elites came out. And those are really awesome shoes. And this color is, you know, it's killer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I decided to throw a bit of pink on there and make the reverse Statue of Liberties. By the end of the day, after I posted these, I had several people texting and saying, you know, I'm, I'm making one or I've already made a pair. So there was a night, I'm at a Oklahoma City Thunder game, Kobe breaks a certain record. And I am sitting inside the Chesapeake Arena trying to ID these things. And I happened to get them, but it was hectic. These are actually a brand new pair. I have another pair. Uh, somewhere with the multicolor, I was able to get 
four pairs. I was able to get four pairs of them. And this is before uh, Nike put a restriction on a couple of the next releases and they'd only let you get two pair, but I was able to get four. My buddy Vince was able to talk me out of the, the chrome swoosh. I'm still sad about it. He'll post it on Instagram and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I missed those. But right here, this one is the, the one that just is amazing for me. That color, I've got another pair that has a gold swoosh. And then I got these guys, but you know, we've seen these a hundred times. Right, right. Nike ID to me is, it, it gives you a way to, to be creative. Creativity will bring you a lot of peace and it, it helps you express yourself in certain ways and show people how you feel through art. Uh, even if it is something as simple as a sneaker. The Fade Flyknit, at first I wasn't too sure about it because it almost looks like somebody went with an airbrush, but I kind of fell in love with it when I got it. Now this is, this is one that I really, really enjoyed myself. Watch the Throne, I Nike ID with some custom laces and I'll show you my actual Watch the Thrones here in a little bit. These down here are some of the EMs that I, other EMs that I did do. My OKC. And this has nothing to do with the fact that I live here now. When I was a kid, the Denver Broncos won a back-to-back -back Super Bowl. Football was one of the few sports that were in our household and we'd, you know, hang out. So I, I remember that like it was, yeah. like it was yesterday. These two right here, are not quite the color that you'd want, but these are made after the soccer clubs that Kobe did. Dank Customs cut these for me. I had so many people tell me I was crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> I don't like the nines that are high. I mean, they look cool and I've heard people say great things about them. I just, I'm not a huge fan. And Dank actually recently redid the lighting for me in some land skin and put me some new laces in there. Out of the Kobe nines, some of the, the highs were some of my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. So I had to have them chopped too. <laughs> <laughs> this one is one of the few shoes that I wear snug and tied tighter. If I don't, it kind of hurts my feet. But getting back into the IDs, the Grinch colorway. I love the Grinch colorway uh, for reasons I've stated about 10 times. <laughs> one of my favorite Kobe's is the Chaos colorway. Mm -hmm. My buddy Ben is actually the one who gave me this idea to make a multicolor homage, Chaos, I guess you could say. The nine and the 10 IDs options were insane. Mm -hmm. And this was an era I felt like the, uh, the IDs were really well balanced. They gave you good colors to pick from, nice options, fly knit, you know, whatever. But, you know, there's hardly anything on the side anymore to ID. And this is the alternate colorway that I did. You do have some LeBrons here and some Jordans. You don't see in too many people's collections. So I want you, I want you to pick out 10. Give me some of the rare shoes that have been on these shelves. You mentioned the Bruce Lee Kobe 5, so I'm like, what, three years late? Yeah, a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. A lot of older retros, you know, stuff like Cool Gray 4s, Do the Right Thing 3s, stuff like that, older SBs, like Hubs. We even had a 1985 Chicago 1 go out the door, 300 bucks. We try to price everything so it can go. You know, we just try to keep a flow of things. Yeah. 